Hi everybody. How in the hell are you? Been a while since I've done one of these. Nothing too special about this. Just uh, giving some updates. Been a while since I've been able to sit down and uh, do this type of thing. Doing okay. Doing okay. Uh, unfortunately, this continuous onslaught of uh, drama that's going about. You guys are getting a little irritating, but I think I'm going to discuss something about that. It seems like, well, quite frankly, everybody that participates in it is like jilted lovers. It's that ridiculous, I swear. And, uh, a little small apology because apparently I fired off on him earlier. Anywho, oh, looking good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Smith family. Uh, sorry, I just got out of bed. <laughs> so, anyway. And someone met. I do want to address something real quick first off. Because someone messaged me seemingly concerned about the uh, new thing shit merchandise. Wondering what the motivation was behind that. Well, that was that. I'm just gonna say it. That is the constant onslaught of drama now. It seems like going everywhere. I mean, uh, I told a guy this morning drama, and the the whole drama, the new merch that announced last time you were on the show. Some of it's up on the store so link should be in the chat or description or whatever ah go away oh, god it seems like everybody's wanting to hit me up today my goodness so anyway i'm just gonna say this social media is not worth it youtube all this it's not worth the constant drama now i remember not too long ago where there was an article that started floating about asking why it seemed like everybody was t pissed off at one another. And one of the prevailing theories, and quite frankly, I think it's probably the best one, is that the reason why it seems like we're all trying to jump at each other's throats is because we're kind of living in times of heavy uncertainty but no signs of slowing down. And uh, people kind of suck when it comes to handling that type of situation, you know? I don't know if you're my cat, but apparently she agrees. <laughs> but needless to say, that is kind of a more, the merch design was just a little bit more of a, uh, aggressive approach to one piece of advice that's out of single going around that's probably the best one. And it's, uh, chances are if you delete everybody who doesn't actually show their face on a social media profile, you'll get rid of like 99% of the drama. That's usually the case. Because I have been getting reports of individuals creating thousands upon thousands of profiles in order to 
target certain inter individuals. There's whole apparently there's Reddit groups now. This has just been brought to my attention. Reddit groups now where you can target social media assaults on people. That is fucked up. Let's well, see. If you see it, what, what, what do you? What do you see? What I mean? Yeah. It's all sorts of fucked up. Apparently, the cat wants to be part of the show. <laughs> oh, she's a person now. But nevertheless, I'm seeing it all the time, and it's just... Look, we already got so a lot of people dealing with cardiac issues, heart issues, stroke issues. Now, may or may not be because of the jab. Hard to say for sure, but I'll admit that's kind of the prevailing theory that caused some friends and family of mine to all end up with heart attacks or heart attack-like symptoms within a couple hours of each other. And here, you know, Aaron goes to make a good point. Finding out who's causing the problems and uh, getting them out of your life. Well, that kind of goes back to the whole jilted lovers remark. Because it seems like people just can't accept being let go. And right now, oh, shoot, uh, Smith family. Uh, they just happen to, for those who can't really see the chat, because this goes out to, this is going out to 20 different platforms right now. They're saying at the heart doctor, ugh, speedy recovery. Um, I do have some good company news coming up here soon. So uh, you can get to that when you have a chance. Just check your email. Hopefully the way I have it set up fucking works. <laughs> but needless to say, coordinated social media attacks and there's so much of this, it's actually causing physical ailments to happen. That ain't right. I mean, granted, I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not saying I'm any better. I, I fire off of people just because I was not in the right mindset. And for those that I, I've done that to, I do sincerely apologize. Those who've been around long enough to know me for a while they can validate that i'm not as bad as i used to be so, progress so anyway moving on to more company news uh right now i have everything set up for those currently with us in the u.s just because you know being at worry in the U. This is, Legally, we're recognized as a U.S. based company, and it's just easier. So, a lot of people also question that, and maybe they just made the assumptions due to how they knew the this whole shindig got started. Was that they thought it was some sort of paranormal investigation? Thing. Well, initially. It is a paranormal-based show that does have a lot of focused content on that type of topic. But with the company itself, I had to think it. And I'm announcing a little bit of this. I was going to try to hold off until October 15th, that right around there, to do a special announcement video to go, well, I'll probably still do it. To do a bit more in depth, but when you go to take on supernatural type topics, there's not exactly a lot of career options. You know what I mean? So, in order to talk about what we've known, I have to head off to go to. All right, Aaron, you take care, brother. What was I saying? Right. Obviously, with that not being a lot of options, a lot of people take to YouTube, to podcasting, things like that. To talk about what they know, connect with others, share their knowledge, and 
maybe, maybe start pulling together the extra funds because the a lot of the equipment that this requires is to be kind of pricey. So I got to thinking, why not try to turn this into a bit of a monetization platform that offers up the same benefits as being signed with a major records. Now, what do I mean by that? Obviously, if you find yourself lucky enough to sign on with a major company, TV network, or a music label, if you're a musician, things like that, that means you have somebody that's going to help you with all the marketing, all of the all the production, basically all the heavy lifting stuff that can really distract an independent creative from creating. Simple as that. So the part of what I'm trying to do, trying to get set up, is create a monetized platform for creatives, paranormal or not, to have that record record company production company representation resources but still maintain their independence to it i mean there is a lot of groups that go independent because they don't want to deal with corporate bs and considering some of the shady things that happen can't really blame them and that is part of my movement. So, with current Bald and Bonkers shows, everybody who is currently uh, runs content under us. If you happen to be familiar with like the uh, Kindle Direct Publishing's methods, the whole tax interview process behind that. We're going to take a similar approach. I've been dealing with IRS fucking paperwork and lawyers and all that eye-crossing, mind-numbing stuff to make that a reality. And yeah, I probably should have mentioned this since Moonblade took off on me. First time Moonblade actually came on, we got the very first donation. So, uh, God, I wish I remember that woman's name. It was like a Teresa or something. Thank you, whoever that was. Um, <laughs> we appreciate it. And with the adjust the uh, tax funding monetization thing, we're going to try to make it to where everybody gets cut. Now, granted... It'll probably be some time if we manage to pull it off to where you could make a you could quit your day job type thing. So anybody who's under us now and who may be considering it in the future, please remember that. Okay? Don't quit your day job just yet. It takes a while for this stuff to build. Let's see, well, there is that main one. I did want to address that. So those of you currently under the Bald and Monkers banner who are on the U.S. side, check your emails. For those of you in the U.K., I'm still working on getting you guys set up. So Maybe we'll make some real damage. Yeah, of course, there's allegedly been some concern about us buying views. I'll be honest. With a lot of... Yeah. There's a W9 for us US-based. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hopefully everything works. Unfortunately, everybody else being out of the UK, there's a few extra steps we got to take, just to make sure everybody's covered. Like I said, 
It, there's been people who tried to accuse that, oh, we're trying to screw people over. No, we're not. Unfortunately, when you go to do this type of thing, you got to go through the fucking paperwork just to make sure you're protected. And I want to make sure everybody is... Everybody who wants to take on this kind of endeavor doesn't get... If something goes wrong, I want to make sure everybody's doing all right. That taxation in the UK, yeah, I know. I know, I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on getting that situated. Hopefully, I'm doing all right. But people I'm working with to get that taken care of is working. On. Hello, whoa, lots of new people. <laughs> Eric the Red Silverson on the, through Twitch. Hello. Jamie on one of the YouTube channels. Like I said, this is earlier. This is going out to 20 different platforms. And hello to everybody whose messages I may not be seeing just because of how this crap works. God damn, Drew. That's <laughs> from our side of the UK. Got it. Yeah. By the way, Drew, um, check your email, buddy. Since I, I know you're here. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, of course. Fucking Drew McCray. My God. Uh, so, that's what's coming up. Uh, there's going to be more opportunities for more people to come on board. Um, I want to try to get it to where anybody who comes like a full-time member can get like their own TV channel on the channel on our TV network, which yes, the syndication through Amazon, Apple TV, Roku is still in the books. It's still in the plans. It's just that we've pretty much exhausted all of the free options right now. <laughs> so getting everybody put together getting it beginning the funding to continue expansion that's gonna slow us down just a little bit not much but just a little like I said we've gone through some new advertising options and of course there's people that's accusing oh they're buying their views well I'm gonna give you a little trick spot here when it comes to that advertising stuff that we talked about on the last episode. Unfortunately, with a lot of these companies, they attract a lot of those bots. It's unavoidable. And you say, oh, we'll do it on your own. Well, yeah, do it on your own, but then YouTube doesn't put you out. YouTube, Facebook, um, I think Twitter's starting to go down that route. Road, 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 road. A lot of these social media companies, when it comes to advertising, they're utilizing a lot of these bots. And they're basically scamming everybody. Facebook's been caught, and they're still doing it. And, or Facebook or Meta, as they're wanting to be called now. Unfortunately, it does somewhat falsify numbers in I've been watching YouTube, it, we get so many likes on a certain video, and all of a sudden YouTube takes them away, but everybody gets hit with that. That damn algorithm. But nevertheless, but that also goes, uh, no, I'm not kind of strange, kind of jumping all over the place, but that kind of goes back to the record production company presentation, because that way this is built is trying to help everybody who participates grow at their own pace so if they have personal issues they're not feeling well they can take time off without saying everything is set up to everything is set up to allow freedom to create at your own own pace and yeah joys of capitalism right 
But unfortunately, and I'm going to bounce back because the uh, ain't shit commenting, ain't shit merchandise that I mentioned earlier towards the beginning of this was inspired because someone decided to try to, to some faceless person on Twitter. Decided to try to make a political argument when I said everybody wants the fancy life, but no one wants to put in the work. Well, not even the people that put in the work want to do put in the work. This requires many hours of sleep, and there's a lot. And I advise everybody who goes down this road: be careful what you wish for, because there's a lot of people who take on the entrepreneurial lifestyle. Especially when all this kind of drama bull keeps happening. It brings out suicidal tendencies. It is a very depressing field. Worth it if you manage to find the magic magic touch and make it. But it, it can be suicidal. It can drive people suicidal. It That is the unfortunate truth. And here, Jim makes a comment, you know. Yeah, two thousand a year. It, it it gets pretty pricey. Now, the option we have there is not as expensive, but it still takes a lot of legwork in order to get it developed. Which is where those high prices come from. But nevertheless, a lot of good stuff coming. Um, you're going to be able to lease TV channels with us. There's going to be ad space available. I'm thinking possibly of putting up a cheap music. We can put together special marketing packages where you get like a press release, an interview that goes out on our channels, things like that. A lot of st good stuff in the works. Now, um, Damn allergies. And those who want to jump on board, welcome. Everybody who's stuck around this long, thank you. A lot of, we're going to have a lot of good stuff coming about. Hopefully the world doesn't blow up too much. Because uh, <laughs> August is almost over and September is where everybody keeps saying, that shit's about to really hit the fan. Anyway, so that's all I have for today. Um, like I said, hadn't had a chance to sit down since I moved into the new house. Um, oh, by the way, I want to address this because uh, the guys, when we had Iron City on, uh, there was a little bit of concern. Outside this bedroom is a main hallway, and because we got the cat now, I have the cat now, i got to keep things open so she doesn't freak out. So if you see shapes moving about, I do not I do live with family members. So I'm just saying, if you start seeing stuff like that, don't start freaking out thinking we got contact. Yeah, you're right. Now, as for getting the uh, K2 gig back up, I got to figure that one out. Because <laughs> I know everybody likes watching them, but watching behind Dakota, see if anything weird's popping out. So, that's about it. And uh, here's a moment of strangeness for everybody. <laughs> Yes, so that cat likes to make herself known. Trust me. <sighs> Apparently, she's starting acting as my personal alarm clock when I oversleep. So, that's fun. She's a polydactyl, too, so she has extra claws. <laughs> so, anyway, here's a little bit of weird news for everybody. I, and the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I literally happen to catch it right as... I was setting this up. But apparently there's a woman making news 
because she believes a vampire is stalking her family. I posted the link in the chat. That's the link to it. I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch, watch everything because apparently TikTok is now a news source nowadays. But here's a little bit of strangeness for your day. Catch you everybody later. Oh, one more thing. Um, probably won't stream it through the main Ball and Bonkers channels, but I am doing kind of a, I am participating in a fundraiser for Blood Cancer Awareness Month. So one of those 30 hours of gaming to raise money for uh, leukemia and lymphoma. So. Contribute if you can. You don't have to. Or come see me act like a total idiot when how it comes to the one vice I've held the longest. <laughs> and besides, coming this October, I think actually on the 15th as well. Hmm. Uh, a video game that I actually helped make is going to finally be coming out. So... I'm excited for that. It's a bit of a horror-based game. It's called Scorn. It's going to be available on Xbox and PC, if I remember correctly. That's not Ball and Bonkers related. I'm trying to go over into video game production, but there's a lot of legwork into that. So, uh... Like I said, a lot of very exciting stuff coming up in October, being that it's the anniversary of the first Bald and Bonkers episode. We have special interviews. Uh, Craig Campbell Basso, author of the Extraterrestrial Species Almanac, is going to be coming up back to help promote his new book, The UFO Hotspot Compendium, as well as kind of discuss more of the latest UFO stuff because, let's face it, there's been a lot. I know one girl who actually got flagged for trying to entice violence for posting a YouTube video of a UFO she happened to see. Which makes me wonder, being that the last time there was a, this much of a spike in activity the Nazis were about, makes you wonder if that's why. But, anyway. Hello to everyone who's joining last minute, since there seems to be a lot of people that do that. I know. Am I talking too much for you? <sighs> Cats. Anyway. I got stuff I need to go take care of, so much love. Stay safe. Stay weird. <laughs>